Hello and welcome to T9 the Gaming. Today we have a matchup between Chaos Dwarfs versus Empire. Uh, this is my dirty side of uh, the Carl Franz army. Uh, yeah, this is 2400 points, and we're playing um, <coughs> Battle Line. And we're doing a Swedish comp score, and my Empire um, list is uh, comp score of 13, uh, which is led by uh, Carl Franz here with. Um, with a Deathclaw Griffin and Rayclan Runefang. Uh, then I have a um, Captain on a Steed. He carries Dawnstone. And then I have a Warrior Priest here. Uh, he only has Enchanted Shield. Uh, then I have two units of hand gunners. One of them is 12 uh, and one of them is 10. They only have a Musician. Then I have Third in your circle knights with full command and steel standard. And then I have two units of three with demogriffs. They have a musician and standard bearer. Then I have for rare a hell blaster and a cannon. And for last but not least a steam tank. Uh, this army uh, is not including an, any magician, magician wish, wizard, so I play with no spells today. <laughs> gonna be fun versus Chaos Dwarfs, but we will see you. And uh, this is my side of the table, the Chaos Dwarfs. Um, I will go through them now. They're led by this dude here. He's the Sorcerer Prophet. He's a level 4 of Hashut. He has Iron Curse Icon, Earthing Rod, Charmed Shield and a Talisman of Preservation. And he has a Dragon Forged Weapon. He got the one where he can do a Strength uh, 3 Breath Weapon once again. Uh, then I have my Hobgoblin Khan. He's, uh, he has just a light armor on a wolf and a spear. Then I also have my Demon Smith Sorcerer. He's level 1 of metal and uh, otherwise he's naked. Then I have my Infernal Castellan. He has the Black Hammer of a Shoot, uh, Enchanted Shield, Potion of Speed and Talisman of Endurance. He also carries a pistol. Um, yeah, that was everything for Heroes and Lords. Then for Core we have 25 Hobgoblins Cutthroats with uh, full command and shields. Then we have 28 Infernal Guards with Great Weapon and uh, Banner of Swiftness. They also have full command. Then I have an uh, Iron Demon with the Skullcracker upgrade and also the it's Hellbound. Uh, a Magma Cannon. For Rare I have a Dreadquake Mortar. And funnily, the Big Baddie, the equivalent of the Steam Tank, oh my God. the Kadai Destroyer. For Spells I rolled up on my level 1 of Metal, uh, Searing Doom. And on uh, the level 4 of Ashut, he got Breath of Hatred, Dark Subjugation, Ash Storm, and Flames of Ascor. Asor. Asor. Uh, and uh, yeah, as he said, we're playing Swedish Comp, and I have a uh, Comp 11. I forgot uh, one thing in my army. Uh, I have two engineers as well. Uh, it's only one here, but I will get yeah. one too. So I have two engineers as well. So very accurate war machines. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go to the deployment. Chaos Dwarf, Dwarfs took the first turn. Uh, I moved up the Kadai on the left flank here. Um, then I moved, moved up the Infernal Guard slightly, same with the Hobgoblins. I moved up the Iron Demon here as well. Uh, yeah, and also the Hobgoblin. Moved up here first in Vanguard and then he moved up. Uh, yeah, let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. For Magic, I 5 dice Flames of Ascor into his unit. He got 4 dice to dispel and he rolled a double 6, so it was dispelled. Then after that I basically didn't reach anything else. For shooting, the Dread Quake Mortar tried to shoot in the middle of this unit again, but I scattered 10, re-rolled, but I scattered away again. 
And then with the flame cannon, I shot into the demogriffs and uh, hit two of them, but uh, yeah, I wounded one, but he made the armor safe. So, let's go to Empire turn one. Empire turn one. Uh, I had uh, no charges. I moved up my uh, Carl Franz here. Uh, I backed, uh, backed up a little bit with my demogriffs, uh, because I think uh, it was a little bit too close to the... Um, Die. Uh, I moved up slightly and pe um, reformed a little bit there with my hand gunners. Uh, moved up as much as I could with my inner circle knights as well. Moved up with my hand gunners. They can't stay here and shoot because he's going to back and uh, I need to go a little bit to him to be able to shot uh, to shoot. Uh, yeah, my steam tank couldn't move due to the demogriffs was um, in front of them, in front of uh, the steam tank, so he stays put there. Next uh, turn he will be able to move. Uh, I have no magic, so we will go to uh, shooting directly. Not the best shooting phase, um, Hellblaster wasn't able to kill this guy, uh, I only got 5 shots due to a misfire. Um, but he just wounded one, so he's uh, so he survived. And this uh, and my cannon here as well uh, died to a misfire. Uh, despite I had a reroll, but I got a misfire again. So it was a very very bad uh, shooting phase. But uh, it is what it is, and we go over to Chaos Dwarfs. Dwarfs turn two. Uh, for charges, I only had the Hobgoblin Khan into the. Orgun kind of was about to say, but uh, head blaster, head blaster, and then I made my frenzy test with the Kedai, so I didn't have to take the bait here. So I backed away with him, moved up the half goblins to block his knights basically, and uh, moved back a bit with the iron demon here because it was a really long charge. And yeah, that was everything. Let's go to wings of magic and shooting. So chaos Orbs, turn two in the magic phase. I only got I got double one, so I was a bit disappointed, but I. Uh, Tried my luck and cast Ash Storm on this unit, and I actually succeeded, so we cannot charge. Then for shooting, the Magma Cannon put the template and hit like 9 of them and killed 3. And the Dread Quake Mortar also got a direct hit and killed 4 more. So, really good shooting phase anyway. And uh, yeah, now we have the combat over here with the Hobgoblin Khan and the Hell Blaster. In the close combat over here, the Hobgoblin Khan killed the crew. Basically killed 2 in 1 combat and uh, yeah, killed them. No panic test here affected anything, and the engineer is still alive over here. That was everything, let's go to Empire turn 2. Uh, Empire turn 2, uh, I had uh, no charges because of uh, this uh, ash storm, I couldn't charge. Um, after charges there is uh, random movement and uh, my uh, steam tank was behind my demogriff so it couldn't move. This turn either, uh, it got forward two inches though, uh, but not enough. So I got face direction on this war machine here. Hopefully I can do some wounds or kill it maybe. Uh, I stood put with my hand gunners, so they will shoot this turn. Move my engineer to face his um, goblin there. Moved up as much as I could with my demogriffs to come to the side here, and my France is here facing the direction here I will charge I believe that was it for the movement now on to um, shooting the little shooting that I got left here hand gunners and the steam tank okay, for shooting phase I killed uh, five of these hobgoblins with the, from the hand gunners and actually I killed this uh, flame cannon with my steam tank so yeah, it was pretty good shooting face. Now to Kalsdorf. Uh, first off, the Kedai managed his uh, test, so he took no wounds. But he failed his frenzy test, he had to charge the knight unit over here. He had Ash Storm on him, but he opted to flee. And uh, during the dangerous train, I think two died. Yeah, two died. Two died. Yeah. And then he passed passed through my, uh, my Hobgoblin can. So, uh, the BSB took a wound and uh, that was it, right? Yeah, yeah, it was it. And then uh, my half goblins 
charge his handgunners. He did a stand and shoot, killed three of them. My Kedai tried to uh, go into these guys instead, but he failed his test. Then I moved up here, uh, moved out the Sorcerer Prophet. You charged the flag. With, uh, that uh, thing, cannon yeah. there as well. Yeah, tried to charge with Iron Demon, but came up short. And uh, yeah, that was everything for movement. And uh, let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. So, for Winds of Magic, first I will try to cast Flames of Escort, uh, the small version on Carl Franz, but uh, I scattered off. Then for shooting I actually got a direct hit with the Dreadquake Mortar on his face and uh, did 4 wounds to Deathclaw, yep. but uh, no wounds to Carl Franz. And also in the magic phase I got Breath of Hatred on these guys. And yeah, that was everything, let's go to Empire, turn 3. Uh, Empire, turn 3. I had uh, some charges, uh, Carl Franz into his Kedai. The beast uh, fight there. Though my uh, Griffin only have one wound left, but uh, I really need to do something here. Uh, my Griffins into his uh, steam engine look like thing there. Uh, that was my charges. Uh, steam tank got uh, 11 inches forward and faces his uh, Mortis there. Or what? I don't know. Iron Demon? Iron, Iron Demon. Uh, my uh, demogriffs come up slightly uh, here um, on the flank, and my but uh, my handgunners is slowly coming from that direction. That was it for uh, the movement phase. Uh, my uh, BSB units uh, made their um, leadership test, and they are now back in the game. Uh, now on to shooting. I only have this steam tank. Uh, shooting phase, um, I did uh, three wounds on the, this engine from my steam points, uh, st uh, from my steam tank, but uh, I think the, it was uh, three crew members that died, so I didn't know, I did no wound on him. Uh, yeah, on to this Imba close combat. That was it for the close combat. Here we got Ty. Uh, no one did any wound at all. Uh, but here I did uh, three wounds. Uh, two wounds on the Kidai from the Carl Franz. Uh, but he killed me. Um, so that was unfortunate. But uh, it was uh, uh, expected. Uh, but it was just for fun. Um, Kidai stay strong. Face direction for my, to my uh, demogriffs. Uh, yeah, that was it. Now to Chaos Dwarf. Turn 4, the Kedai charge into his demogriffs. The hobgoblins charge into his handgunners. He keep, killed two of them with a stand and shoot, and the Khan charge in the flank. Over here, the Inferno Guard charge in the flank of the demogriff knights, and the sorcerer uh, and other demon smith moved around slightly to get closer to cast some spells. That was everything. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. So, for shooting uh, and magic, I tried to cast Searing Doom, but he dispelled it. Then I tried to cast Breath of Hatred on this unit, but I didn't get it. Then for shooting, the Dreadquake Mortar got a direct hit and did three wounds to the steam tank. Let's go to close combat. So, in the close combat, the Kedai killed one of the Demogriffs, and uh, yeah, one combat, he took no wounds, but uh, yeah, he remained. Over here, I killed the handgunners and uh, overran into the inner circle, inner circle knights with the hobgoblin count and the hobgoblins are right behind him. Over on this flank I killed uh, one of the demogriffs and he was down to double ones but of course he rolled double ones. Yeah. That's my fate. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Empire turn 4. Uh, Empire turn 4, as I expected. Uh, um, I roll a misfire on my steam tank, so it, it can't come in into this uh, flank there, unfortunate, so it was very bad. Uh, I had no other moves, uh, everyone, every unit is stuck in combat, so, and uh, no magic and no shooting. So um, we go straight to the close combat. Uh, close combat, my demogriffs was killed. From, uh, due to the combat here, and it was killed here as well. So now he can face my uh, steam tank, charge it if he wants to. Turn 5, 
the Kadai passed his frenzy test, but he failed his toughness test, so he took two wounds. He's down to two wounds now. Over here, I backed away with the hobgoblins. We forgot to do the combat with the Khan, but uh, he died from those guys. So I backed away here. Over on the right flank, I charged with the Inferno Guard and the uh, Iron Demon into his steam tank. And yeah, that was everything. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting. For Winds of Magic, uh, I cast Flames of Ascor and I got Irresistible Force into his knight unit. I think I killed two of them. Or was it one? Yeah, only one. Uh, and I got magical feedback, so my level one took a wound over here. But uh, the level four managed because he has Charm Shield. And for shooting, the Dread Quake uh, scattered off and didn't hit. So that was everything. Let's go to close combat. During the close combat, the steam tank died from the impact hit from the Iron Demon. I got 11 hits and did 8 wounds, something like that. So yeah, that was everything. Let's go to Empire turn 5. In this combat here, uh, I won, but uh, I didn't want to pursue him. Uh, I want to... I, I want to have uh, other options on the last turn, so yeah, they stay there. So, uh, Kalsor's turn 6, a charge a Kedai into his knights, he sh chose to flee. And then he had his engineer here, so I redirected into him, and he chose to flee as well. So I actually got in the arc of the pursuit, so I could reach them. So I uh, got in contact with the engineer, but I didn't make the overrun into the knights. Then I also rallied the hobgoblins, turned them around, and that was basically it. Let's go to Winds of Magic and shooting and see if I can do anything. So for the magic phase I tried to do the big version of Flames of Ascor onto his knight unit but I didn't get it, I got 22. For shooting I scattered off with the Dread Quake and uh, yeah that was it for my turn, let's go to the Empire turn 6 and see if he can rally. Yeah we can film it right away. Yeah, uh, see really if I make my rally. Yeah, he did. They rally and I get some points. So you just turn around and we will calculate the points. So at the end of the turn we calculated uh, the points and the uh, Chaos Dwarves won today with approximately 1450 points, something like that. And uh, yeah, what can I say, it was actually my first victory with the Chaos Dwarves, I've been struggling uh, for a while now, versus this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he didn't let me win, but uh, now I... Uh, Faced the more... Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm more... Yeah. player, uh, <laughs> so my first game uh, <laughs> since a month, uh, one, and yeah. half, one and a half. But, uh, I needed it, this experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was a fun game. Uh, I think the uh, turning point was basically when his cannon died in the first turn. Yeah, and my steam tank was uh, blocked. Yeah, the steam tank as well. And, uh, but, uh, and my... Um, my um, Cavalry was quite damaged after two turns uh, as well. Yeah, I think when I cast Ash Storm, that yeah. was basically the turning point because uh, you couldn't charge and you were I in a prime position anything. and stuff like that. Uh, so, but I was surprised that they actually was uh, survived and uh, that, that they wasn't killed. Yeah, the whole unit because uh, when I stood in the middle there, I thought the the whole unit should be killed, uh, but. Yeah, I chose to flee, so I think that was uh, the right des des decision there. But yeah, definitely. It didn't, ma it, it didn't matter. It no. didn't matter at all. But uh, yeah, I ho I hope my Carl Franz should do a little bit more. But uh, he was quite. Uh, my Griffin was at one wound when I came into his Kidai, uh, so it was he, he was pretty weak. Yeah, uh, that was unfortunate. And then also got. The even if I didn't kill him, I would get the Thunderstomp on Carl Franz yeah, as well, yeah, so yeah. it was quite unfortunate that he died. It was a risky, but uh, I did it just for fun. It's yeah. two, two quite beasty monsters. Who, but yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, it was a really fun game and... Uh, as always, going to winning streak again. Yeah, now I'm happy once again. I was about to stop playing, but now <laughs> I'm, ba I'm back. Back playing. Back. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Thanks for everything. Bye. Bye. Bye.